Okay, welcome to Our Kitchen Island. Today we're making my perfect steak. We've got a great cut of meat here. We've got a nice ribeye roast. Um, difference between a ribeye and a ribeye roast is this one has the bone on. Love to keep the bone on because it adds even a little bit more flavor. It's a couple bucks cheaper. Some people don't like paying for the bone, but really when you're paying for the ribeye versus the rib roast, then you're paying essentially the same because the price is going to change because you're paying for bone, but the bone adds so much flavor, I'd pay the same price to have it on. So what we're going to do is real simple dressing. We're going to get some salt on there. Just going to do a quick rub here. We're not going to start our rub too early. We're not going to do a big marinade. This is a nice tender piece of meat, so you don't have to do too much ahead of time to break it down. We're just going to get some salt on there, some good sea salt covered on there. Get some pepper, cover it up a little bit. We'll get some cayenne. Just a little pinch on there. And we're going to get some garlic on there. Simple ingredients. The steak obviously has a lot of flavor. But uh, you don't want to mask the flavor of the steak. You want the steak to stand alone. Whereas sometimes you, know, you want to use chicken as just a platform for making your meal on top of. When you're making steak, it's really all about the steak. And you just want to add ingredients in there that will pop the flavors. So, rub that in with a little olive oil, work that in, get that flipped over, and then we'll switch over to the other end, put your sea salt on there, get your pepper on there, be very generous with these, you know, some of them are going to fall off when you're on the barbecue, but uh, you want to keep as much flavor on as you can. Get your garlic powder on there. And again, a pinch of cayenne. Cayenne's not actually so you feel a burn or a heat when you're eating it. It's just so that it pops up the flavors a little bit more, intensifies it, and makes it even that much better. Get a little bit more oil on that side and rub it in. Now that's just going to sit for, you know, as long as it takes to heat up your barbecue. It takes about 20 minutes to heat up the barbecue to where I want it with my barbecue. I like it really hot, nice five, six hundred degrees when I put it on and then I put it on top of the flame and uh, turn the flame a little bit down because you're going to have some drippings over here and you don't want any fires underneath but you do want to get it as hot in a nice sear and cook it really nice and quick so we'll see you outside okay so we're out here we got the barbecue Heat it up really nice, up to about 600 degrees, so that's perfect, ready to get the steak on. A couple more tips I forgot to tell you inside. Let your steak sit on the counter for about an hour, hour to two hours before you put it on so that it's room temperature all the way through and that you can cook it quicker and it'll cook more evenly in the cooking process. Also, I'm ready to get this on. Just got the turkey on the other side for my wife tonight because she doesn't eat red meat. So we're going to get the steak on here. Put it on the hot grills. And you got some oil on there, so you're probably going to get some drippings. And it's going to burn a little bit. Close it back up, and I just turn it down a little bit. Alright, so here's another great tip. We just put it down. Now we've got some flames under there, so we're just going to take it up. We've got our turkey baster, we've got a little thing of water. And we're just going to knock the flames down a little bit. It's just the oil dripping off the, the steak, and it's also the... Uh, the fat from the steak melting in there. We want to keep it a nice high heat, but at the same time, we don't want to burn the steak. We don't want any black bits on there. So it's now it's actually a good time. It's been on there for about a minute and a half. Just going to give it the quarter turn. This helps you if you got any hot spots in the oven. It also gives you those beautiful grill marks that you get in the restaurant all the time. We're going to do this one about four minutes aside for a strip loin or for something um, to that end. You can probably do it about three minutes aside to get it medium rare. I like my steak medium rare and nice lots of juice in the middle. Don't want to cook it too much. So there we go. We've got some beautiful color on it. We're just ready to take it off. The other side, looking great. Get that on the plate. We're going to take that inside, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and we're good to go. Remember, visit OurKitchenIsland.com for the full recipe and more great ideas. See you next time.